welcome to a new episode of Agitech Weekly. I am Husi Reti Ayulua. On this incredible episode, I am live at the DS Executive Farm Consult Workshop here in the Loving Crown Estates. On this episode of Agitech Weekly, we'll be talking about farm mechanization. And farm mechanization, as you already know, is the use of machineries that aid farm labor, also saves time and energy in the process. Seems like an enjoy as this episode promises to be exhilarating and informative. Welcome back. I am here with me, yeah. the CEO of Farm Executive Council of Workshop. Here with me. His name is Ahmed. Thank you for the Founder and owner of Executive Farm Consult. It's a mechanization company based in Illinois. Our major focus is providing agricultural services in areas of mechanization. Uh, when I mean mechanization, I mean land preparation to harvesting. Your plow, your hauling, your spraying, and your harvesting. So we do A to Z of agricultural mechanization services to, to farmers around the country. Oh, good. good. Alright, so can you tell us what inspired you to actually go into farm mechanization here in Nigeria? Uh, well, I think I have to go a good, um, say a lot of a good history of how it started because um, we actually started with poultry farms and we discovered there is a lot of challenges in the area of feeds and inconsistency in food supply. So we, we decided to venture into into crop cultivation and it has always been failure upon failure. We have to sit down, look, why are we failing? and we discovered the lack of proper agricultural mechanization in Nigeria. What I mean by proper agricultural mechanization is having your work done uh, within shortest period of time, since we solely depend on rain for most of our agricultural operations. So we started investing on machines, and in fact, the scope of business differed from us farming on our own to providing agricultural services, mechanization services to to intending farmers and existing farmers in Nigeria. The only way to consistency, improvement and um, good yield is when you do most of your activities on on mechanization. Uh, when we look at when we look at the cost of labor and the inconsistency in, in human pricing of these activities. It will be practically impossible for you to even know how much it will take for you to know uh, for one hectare to be cultivated. And, uh, and the efficiency in most time is always uh, defeated compared to using machines. And another uh, little analogy for people well, who are not farmers is the fact that except if your machine breaks down a uh, machine will continue to work for as long as you want it to work and it will continue to deliver what you want it to deliver so for me the only way out for sustain uh, well I, I think that aspect should be uh, should come from the farmer's end but we can only try um, practically we need to start deviating from uh, from the um, means we have been using to cultivate and that is why you look at a lot when you check around the country you see a lot of abandoned farms and nobody is taking their time to study why are there so much abandoned farms it's because of lack of proper agricultural mechanization and an agronomist practices to have proper yield and everything so we have been able on on machines providing agricultural machines to help farmers improve on their yield, help them get their works done at the appropriate time so that they'll meet up with the number and uh, the range they will need for 
good yield. I think um, we have to call before we can run, then before we can fly. We just need to start. We just need to start in in in, in a place and continue to improve on. Most of the de um, developed countries that are doing greatly in areas of mechanization also start from somewhere. But I believe with time, with consistency, and with government support, everything will fall in right pl uh, place and we all know that food business is not something to joke with and we need to start investing heavily on mechanization for us to have food sustainability amazing work you're doing here i'm honestly impressed uh, you have a sprayer plant, uh, a planter and have a, a ridge right ridge. Ridge. okay good so we've seen everything can we see you drive a tractor sure <laughs> Well done. Well done. I would, I would love, love to drive, bro. I'm a respect myself, bro. Well, incredible work you're doing out here. It's amazing what you're doing. Yeah. And uh, I look forward to seeing more of your work out there. What an enlightening episode we had today on the Agritech Weekly. Trust that you enjoyed it and it was educating and enlightening enough. Don't forget to follow, uh, follow us on all our social media platforms and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We come to the end of today's episode. I am Husu Retia Yolua. Agri Tech, think different.